In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert an octal number into a decimal number. So how can we do that? Well, let's start with a simple example. Let's say we have 370 in the octal system. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 0 by 8 to the 0 power, and then we're going to multiply the 7 by 8 to the first power, and the 3 by 8 to the second power. And we're going to add up all these numbers. So this is going to be 3 times 8 squared plus 7 times 8 to the first power plus 0 times 8 to the 0 power. 8 squared, that's 8 times 8, which is 64. And 7 times 8 is 56. And 0 times anything is 0. Now, 3 times 64, that's 192. And then we have 192 plus 56. And so 2 plus 6 is 8. 9 plus 5 is 14. Carry the 1. And so we get a total of 248 in the decimal system. So that's how we can convert an octal number into a decimal number. Now let's try another example. 1071 in the octal system. Let's convert that to a decimal number. So the first one, the 1, we're going to multiply that by 8 to the 0. And then the 7, we're going to multiply that by 8 to the first power. And the 0 by 8 squared. And the 1 by 8 to the third. So this is going to be 1 times 8 to the third plus 0 times 8 squared plus 7 times 8 to the first power plus 1 times 8 to the 0 power. So what is 8 cubed? So 8 times 8 times 8, that's going to be 512. 0 times 8 squared is 0. 7 times 8 is 56. And 8 to the 0 power is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 512 plus 56 plus 1. And that's going to be 569 in the base 10 system. And so that's it for that one. Now what about this one? 16,475 in the octal system. Let's convert it to a decimal number in the base 10 system. So the first number, the 5, we're going to multiply by 8 to the 0. And the second number by 8 to the 1. And the third by 8 squared. And the fourth by 8 cubed. And the last one by 8 to the fourth. So this is going to be 1 times 8 to the fourth plus 6 times 8 cubed, plus 4 times 8 squared, and then plus 7 times 8 to the first power, and then plus 5 times 8 to the 0 power. Now, 8 raised to the 4th power. If we multiply 4 eighths together, 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, that's 4,096. Now, 8 to the 3rd, we know it's 512. And then 8 squared is 64. 7 times 8 is 56. And I need to put a plus sign here. And then 8 to the 0 is 1. So we have 4,096. And then 6 times 512, that's 3,072. And 4 times 64 is 256. And then plus 56 plus 5. So let's go ahead and add up these five numbers. And so the sum comes out to 7,485 in the base 10 system. So this is the final answer. Now what if we have a fractional number, let's say 425.28 in the octal system. How can we convert that to a base 10 number in the decimal system? So we know that the 5 we need to multiply by 8 to the 0 and the 2 by 8 to the 1 and 4 by 8 squared. So if we follow the pattern of exponents that we see here, the next number has to be 8 to the negative 1. So the number to the right of the decimal we need to multiply by 8 to the minus 1 and then the last number by 8 to the negative 2. So we're going to have 4 times 8 squared 
plus 2 times 8 to the first power, plus 5 times 8 to the 0 power, plus 2 times 8 to the minus 1, and then plus 8 times 8 to the minus 2. Now we know that 8 squared is 64, and 2 times 8 is 16, and 8 to the 0 is 1, 5 times 1 is 5. Now what about 2 times 8 to the minus 1? 8 to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over 8. And so therefore, this expression becomes 2 times 1 over 8. Or we could say it's basically 2 divided by 8. Now for this expression, 8 to the negative 2 is 1 over 8 squared. And so what we have is 8 divided by 8 squared, which I'll write that here. So 4 times 64, that's 256. Now we can add 16 plus 5, that's going to be 21. And then 2 over 8, or 2 divided by 8, that's 0.25. And then 8 divided by 8 squared, or 8 divided by 64, that's 0.125. Now let's add up the numbers. So we have 256 plus 21 plus 0.25 plus 0.125. And so our answer is going to be 277.375 in the base 10 system. And so now you know how to convert a fractional octal number into a decimal number. Thanks for watching.